This film supplements the instructions for use and serves to aid understanding. This film is not a substitute for reading and understanding the instructions for use. It is also not a replacement for mandatory instructions or training courses. The Explore 9000 and Pass Explore airline systems from Traeger provide maximum respiratory protection without increased breathing resistance. Depending on the system configuration, it can also offer protection for the head, face including eyes, and hearing. The compressed airline system can be assembled from different components. The Explore 9300 system with hood, helmet or face shield and a standard or flexible hose. The Explore 9500 system with full face mask and mask adapter. Or the Paz Explore system with half or full face mask and lung demand valve. All systems are then connected to an external air supply source. In the following, we will show you how to prepare the airline system for use, how to don the face and headpieces, and what to consider after use. Outside the hazardous area, select the system components according to your required protection level and area of application. Carry out a visual and functional check. Assemble the components. First, insert the Y part. The manifold can be worn on the left or right side. Place the back plate over the manifold. Insert the strap into the back plate. Connect the airline supply to the input connector. To wear the device, adjust the belt to the approximately required circumference. Then put on the belt and close the buckle. Tighten the strap. Ensure that the device is fitted tightly against the body. If necessary, it is possible to use strap clips to fix protruding ends. Adjust the support ring to your size using the quick adjustment system. Press with your thumb and forefinger into the notches to help with the adjustment. The numbers to adjust the head circumference correspond to the head circumference in centimeters. Furthermore, five levels are available for adjusting the head height, with level one being the smallest and level five being the largest setting. Connect the breathing hose and activate the air supply. Now put the hood on using the fitting loops. With the long hood, you can tuck the bottom layer of the bib into the protective clothing if desired. The support ring of the hood rests on the forehead and runs around the head. The face seal runs under the chin, above the ears and along the back of the head. Make sure that the support ring is located completely within the sealing area. The system is now ready for use. Use the knob to adjust the airflow as necessary to suit your work intensity. Adjust the helmet to your head size. There are four fastening points, which you can adjust in height and width. Connect the breathing hose and activate the air supply. Stretch the sealing cuff of the helmet with your hands and put it on. You can tighten the helmet at the back using the ratchet. 
Pull the ceiling cuff under your chin and tighten the strap until the ceiling cuff fits around your neck. To adjust the air outlet, open the visor and select your setting via the blue flap at the front of the helmet. Then close the visor. The system is now ready for use. Use the knob to adjust the airflow as necessary to suit your work intensity. Depending on the application, select a helmet or a bump cap for combination with the hood. Adjust the selected headpiece to your head size. There are four attachment points, which you can adjust in height and width. Pull the hood over the helmet shell or bump cap so that the front is facing the visor of the hood. Also, pull the hood over the hose connection. Attach the visor flaps to the helmet shell or bump cap by hooking the flaps onto the mounting clips and click it into place on the other side. Connect the breathing hose and activate the air supply. Put on the helmet shell or bump cap. You can tighten the helmet at the back using the ratchet. Pull the ceiling cuff under your chin and tighten the strap until the ceiling cuff fits around your neck. If required, insert the inner bib into your protective clothing and pull the outer bib over it. Use the knob to adjust the airflow as necessary to suit your work intensity. Adjust the headband to your head size. If necessary, also adjust the distance between the helmet and the headband. To do this, remove both rear pivot bolts from the slots on the headband. Then press them into the chosen slots until they can be heard audibly clicking into place. Connect the breathing hose and activate the air supply. Put on the face shield. You can tighten the face shield at the back using the ratchet. To adjust the air outlet, open the visor and select your setting via the flap at the front of the headpiece. Then close the visor, pull the ceiling cuff under your chin. Connect the breathing hose and activate the air supply. Close the fastening hooks of the neck straps and place the straps over your head and position it at the back of the neck. Position the mask over the mouth and nose and pull the head cradle over your head. Pull the straps uniformly until the mask fits securely and comfortably. Connect the breathing hose and activate the air supply. <sighs> 
open the straps as far as possible. Direct the mask towards the face. First, insert your chin into the chin piece of the mask. Fit the harness over your head until the mask is in position. Tighten the straps until the mask fits snugly and securely. First, tighten both neck straps, then both temple straps, and then tighten the front strap if necessary. Connect the breathing hose and activate the air supply. Open the straps as far as possible. Direct the mask towards the face. First, insert your chin into the chin piece of the mask. Fit the harness over your head until the mask is in position. Tighten the straps until the mask fits snugly and securely. First, tighten both neck straps, then both temple straps, and tighten the front strap if necessary. Use the knob to adjust the airflow as necessary to suit your work intensity. First, remove the head protection. Then switch off the air supply. Dismount the system and carry out the planned maintenance and cleaning work according to the maintenance table and instructions for use.